Hi everyone, welcome to this video on Gougere. 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 I really love this word. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and this recipe for French cheese puffs comes from davidlebovitz.com, one of my favorite food bloggers. A couple things before we get started about this recipe. Make sure you have prepped all of your ingredients before you get started because this moves really fast and you won't have time in between your cooking steps to prep things as you go along. The second thing to note is that the type of cheese that you choose really does make a difference in how your recipe turns out. You need to use a very dry cheese. Um, the recommended cheeses are Mimolette, which I never see in my stores here in New York. So you can also use Comté, Gruyere, or just that good old reliable Parmesan Pecorino, or a mix of whatever you happen to have on hand, as long as it's really dry. If it's not dry enough, you risk your puffs not being puffs, they'll be very flat, and they look more like cheese crackers. They still taste phenomenal, they just won't be that impressive pretty little puff. Okay, so let's get started by prepping our ingredients. We're gonna grate our cheese, cut our butter, chop our chives, measure out your flour, water, and salt, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. In a saucepan, we're gonna melt together the water, the butter, the salt, and then a few twists of black pepper or just a pinch of some red pepper. And once all that's melted together, you're gonna to put all of your flour in at once and you're gonna stir vigorously. I mean like really, really vigorously. Your arm might cramp up. In this process for me, I started looking at this and wondering if maybe I had mismeasured something because it looked like it wasn't gonna to come together. It was just so liquidy. I ended up turning the heat up just a little bit from a low heat to just barely into medium and then it came together much more quickly. You're gonna mix this together until the dough starts pulling away from the sides of the pan and it makes this nice smooth ball inside your pan. And once you're at that point, remove the pan from the heat and let it cool for a couple of minutes. And by a couple, I mean a few, because the next thing you're gonna do is add in your eggs one at a time. And you don't want this too hot or else you could potentially cook your eggs into the dough and none of us want that. So give it a good few minutes to cool down. Again, add your eggs in one at a time and again, stir vigorously. And then you're gonna add in your cheese and your chives. Now, I started having issues with my dough at this point. Um, I thought it was too liquidy. I didn't really know why. I have followed everything to the T in the recipe, so I don't know why my dough was behaving this way. And I did actually try to make a second batch um, and, and try a couple of different things. I've included those notes um, in my blog at jennagedwards.com. So if you're curious about what I tried, you can look at it there or it's in the video description below. Nonetheless, if you find that your dough is looking like this and you think it's too liquidy, it'll taste phenomenal, but they will definitely be flat. So moving along, once you add in your cheese and your chives, it'll, it'll thicken up a little bit once you've got them in there. Uh, but then you will scoop them onto a baking sheet. So you can use a little scooper like I'm using here. You can use a spoon. Or you can pour all of your dough into a Ziploc bag and then cut just a teeny tiny corner off of your Ziploc bag and you have made a pastry piping bag. And you can just pipe them right onto the baking sheet. Either way, uh, you're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on top of your little puffs before you put them in the oven and you'll let them bake for 10 minutes at 425 degrees. But don't go far because after those 10 minutes, you're gonna lower the heat to 375 degrees and let them bake for another 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, that's it for your Gougere French cheese puffs. Remember, jennagedwards.com has more details on how I troubleshooted my second batch and what I figured out, what I didn't figure out about the dough. Also visit davidlebovitz.com. He has photographs of his process so you can see what they look like for him as well. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion. Thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up.